Hi. All right, I was gonna show you with this kitty because it's not going anywhere to show or anything, so I can kinda just show you. So I have the eye cleanser and I'm sticking it on to a makeup pad. And so see how grody his eyes are right down there. And you can really see it's, it's pretty deep there in the groove. So let me see if I can get it a little closer on his eye. Sorry, I've tried to get bigger, it's not working. All right, so first I just do the eye eye part of it. And see how I have my thumb under his chin across the jaw, because you don't want to dig in, you know, to where he, he swallows. And you can see how dirty this is already, just from those few swipes. So I get rid of them when they're kind of grody and just start over. And then see how I get there in the grooves? I just kind of stick my finger in there, just like this, kind of, and see how much stuff I got out. And there again, it's across the jaw and over the head. So that way you have control of the cat. You can move it. <laughs> Cat's going, what are you doing? Oh, that's our big dog, Connor. He's an Irish wolfhound. Puppy. Okay, so this is when you kind of got to scrub when there's just like a big blob on there. And I just kind of, I lift it up with my finger here because obviously I have to do it by myself. So I lift it up and then that way you can get it into that groove really good. I'll spread it out like that just to get that grody stuff out of there. I guess I picked the best cap to do a demo on. So I'm just gonna do one side so you kind of get it. And this time, yeah, there's a little pressure. Go over here to get these grodies, and sometimes you actually have to pull them out of the hair. See, I pulled it out. Hi, sorry. And this one I'm just gonna get with my fingernail. So let's see if we get any clean ones yet. There you go. And I don't, stop with their eyes and I do it underneath here too because it tends to you know come down and then yellow that part and this is a kitten that I produced earlier this year but he has really small nares and I don't like that I don't like the way he's breathing so I'm going to take him into the bed and see what he thinks I think his nostrils are way too small personally and I've never produced that, but I guess there's a first for everything. Okay, I know, buddy. I know. And this cat is not used to me doing its face, so just so you know. And so now it came back clean. So then I take a Kleenex, and I would dry both eyes. But like I said, I'm only doing one. And get in there again with your finger if you have to spread the eye out do that and get it as dry as you can. And then there's no grody stuff. And then let me get the powder. Don't go anywhere, kitten. I have a mega jar of it. <laughs> and you can use a brush or a makeup pad kind of thing. I have a little brush and brush against the way the hair grows because that way it'll get down to the root and really start, you know, working on the stain. And then very little, do it into that groove there. And there again, I have to spread the skin out to get it in there. And you kind of want to, and you can put it better in there with your thumb or one of your fingers if you want, because it's this is not easy. And there again, I'm going against the way the hair grows Oops, sorry, buddy, I didn't mean to open the eye. <laughs> All right, one more thing over here. Now I'm going down a little bit on his cheek part because that gets stained also. All right, then I want one more clean pad. And just kind of work it into the eye. Come here, buddy. So see how much cleaner it is? And I would do it, you know, if you've really got a bad stain like your kitty does, I would do it at least twice a day if you can. Sorry, my wrist doesn't work. Don't go up and 
there you are, see? All right, so I hope that helps. And um, let me know how things go, okay? Thank you very much.